All right. Thanks everyone for joining in to today's session. We'll be covering some of the highlight features in the latest release of Deco Network. This 8.5 release has a big focus on improvements in the business hub with features like production scheduling with a new calendar view and managing company accounts. So stay tuned. We'll take a dive into each of these new highlight features and get a little more in depth. There are some cases where a quote request model might fit your business more than an e-commerce model. Deco Network has had the option to submit a quote request in the past. In our latest release, we've now added the ability to turn the whole site into quote only mode. This allows your consumer to browse all of your products. They won't see any prices, but they'll be able to add those items to a cart and submit that cart as a quote request. Let's switch over to the admin screen to see how we can enable this new option. Once we're managing our site in the admin section, we'll click into price settings to find the new option. It'll be listed here at the top and all we need to do is turn on allow quotes only and go ahead and save to apply that change. Once that change is applied, we can go ahead and switch back to our website. All right, let's go ahead and browse for some blank products. You can see our entire catalog is listed here. Just as always, we have the ability to load that item into the design tool and add a stock design onto it. Once we're happy with our design, we can go ahead and set our quantities and choose the quote button to add that to the cart. Once we're ready to check out, we can go ahead and review our quote we'll see the line items that we've added, the quantities. We're not seeing prices because the site is in quote only mode, but we can go ahead and proceed to the checkout process and submit this for a quote request. From within the business hub, we'll find that in the quotes section as a new quote request. We can go ahead and view it from here and edit the quote to modify and update any necessary prices. And finally, send it to the customer for approval. One of the most impactful improvements in this release of Deco Network is the ability to display your blank product listing prices inclusive of any applied volume discounts. Looking at our current blank product page, you can see blank product prices have traditionally shown the price for a single piece item. Let's jump into the admin section to see how we can configure the new available option. From the admin section, we'll click into products and from the products menu, we'll choose blank product display. You'll find a new section labeled pricing display options. From here, you can configure which prices you wanna display, the decorated price, the blank product price, or both. You can also determine whether you wanna show the unit price or the cheapest possible price, as low as pricing, or both. Let's go ahead and choose the new option and show as low as pricing, including any quantity discounts. Let's hit save to apply that change. With this option selected, the system will consider all quantity discounts, including decoration method price tables, as well as volume discounts configured for blank products. Let's take a look at our live site and see how this new option is affecting our prices. Clicking into our blank product page, we can see our listing prices are now showing the as low as price and indeed their lower prices because they're now taking into account our volume discount and our decoration price tables. This new feature allows you to show your customers a more accurate price that they can expect when shopping through your site and helps you to be more competitive. A 
great addition in this release of Deco Network is the new product filter widget, which allows your consumer to browse and filter by attributes like size, color, brand, and available decoration processes. Let's take a look at how to enable this new feature. From our admin section, we'll go ahead and open up the page editor by clicking Edit Website, Website Pages. Once inside the page editor, we'll click into the blank product page from our Pages tab. In my case, I currently have a single column layout, so I'll need to go into the row settings and turn on a side column to drop in the filter widget. I can take the new filter widget from the Widgets tab and drop it right into that new column. The filter widget allows you to make slight adjustments, like relabeling a section or changing the font of the headings. In my case, I'm going to relabel manufacturers to brands. So I'll click the format and I'll relabel that to brand. Let's go ahead and publish this change. Now let's take a look at the site and see this new feature in action. From the site, I'll open up the Blink Products page. The new filter widget is available here on the left-hand side column, and I can easily filter to see only products available in size medium, available in a red color, and that offers screen printing. You'll notice that the preview image is updated to show the selected color filter. In addition to the attributes, you also have the ability to enable the text filter to search for keywords like cotton, and just like that, you've made it super easy and simple for your consumer to find the right product. Many decorators get more work from business to business sales and prefer to work with company rather than customer accounts. In the latest Deco Network release, we've added that feature. On the left hand side, you'll find a new company section where you can see the company accounts you're currently managing. You can view them or add a new company. When viewing a company account, you're able to see all of the assigned contacts. Let's go into the order section and see how we could add a new order for a company account. We'll choose add new order. In the order screen, we have the ability to add a new company contact. We can select from our existing company accounts and add the new contact. Once we've added that new company contact, we can go ahead and proceed as usual, adding products onto the order. One of the main benefits of managing company accounts is being able to keep track of that company's outstanding balance and generate a statement for orders across all of their contacts. Let's go back into Remax and generate a statement. We can go ahead and select an on-demand invoice for a specific period of time. Once generated, we can find it from the account statement screen. We can view that statement and you'll see it's going to contain all of the open outstanding invoices for that company, even though they're assigned to different contacts. Another benefit of company accounts is the ability to assign roles to contacts within the company. For example, you can configure a contact to manage payments and receive notifications about confirmed payments, payments due, or deposit requirements. You can also configure someone to be a manager and receive notifications about all company orders. This flexibility with roles allows you to more easily work with your business-to-business -business customers and easily stay in touch with them. In the latest release of Deco Network, we've made various improvements to the website pages editor. Let's jump in and take a look at a few highlights. Once you're managing your site in the admin section, click into Edit Website, Website Pages to load the page editor. One of the many new improvements is to our Blank Product Listing widget. Let's go ahead and drop one here onto our homepage. And from the Properties window, 
let's set categories to display as tabs. We can go ahead and add a new tab. Previously, you've been able to go ahead and select a category to display, but you were limited to show the tab name as the name of the category. Now you can go ahead and rename that tab to display something else. Let's go ahead and save and publish this change to take a look at one of the other improvements on this widget. Viewing this from the website, we can see our product listing showing our tabs just as we set them up. One of the other improvements to this listing widget is the ability to click on a color swatch and see that product in the selected color swatch. This is going to make it super quick and easy for your customer to see just the product that they're looking for. Let's jump back into the admin section and look at a couple other improvements. Back in the page editor, let's jump into the contact page and take a look at an improvement on the form widget. The form widget now allows you to set a post submit page, a page that you're going to redirect your users to after they submit the form. You can click into that drop down and select a page from your existing navigation. In addition to this improvement to the generic form widget, Special forms like the user login and sign up widget also have improvements to the style options that you can configure. If we take a look at the login form, for example, you'll find similar design options as you do on the generic form widget, allowing you to change the label color, the heading color, the input field style, and the button style. Lastly, let's jump into the style editor and take a look at a couple of small improvements we've made there. The generic font picker now has the option to set word spacing in addition to the letter spacing we already offered. Overall, you'll find many improvements just like these throughout the page editor in this new release of Deco Network. The latest release of Deck Network includes a variety of enhancements to the production workflow. One of the biggest improvements in this area is the ability to now integrate with ShipStation to manage your shipping. Through this new integration, you'll be able to send your orders over to ShipStation and purchase postage from any of the carriers that ShipStation integrates with. From there, ShipStation will mark your orders as shipped and attach a tracking number if it's available. Let's go ahead and jump into Business Hub and take a look at this new feature. Here in my business hub, I have an order for John from Kingpin Bowling, and looks like it's ready to be shipped. So let's switch over to ShipStation. There's a brief setup that you'll need to complete inside of ShipStation to connect your Deco Network account. In my case, that setup's already done. All I need to do is click into the store update icon on the top right and update either the individual store, or in my case, I'll update all stores. After the update, that order will show up here in my ShipStation account. Clicking that order will allow me to enter in the shipping information, the weight, which service I want to use, the package dimensions, and finally purchase postage and print off a shipping label. Once complete, that notification will be sent back to my business hub and that order will show up as completed and shipped. Overall, this enhancement will reduce the amount of steps you need to take when completing your orders and give you more flexibility when choosing a shipping carrier to purchase postage from. One of the primary goals in this latest release of Deco Network is making managing your production easier. We've added a new calendar view that allows you to easily and quickly schedule orders for production. Let's jump in and take a look. Calendar view is now the default view here in production and allows you to switch between week view, day view, and month view. Scheduling an order is as simple as grabbing it and dropping it onto the day where you plan running production. You can hover over an order to see the production details, including the current status, the decoration methods used, and a production mockup. Using month view, you can click on a day to see all of that day's orders listed on the right-hand side panel. And you can click show to expand that order's details. 
Assigning a production job is as simple as clicking and selecting a team member. In addition to scheduling orders by dragging them around in the calendar view, you can also schedule a job for a specific date using the reschedule function. The production calendar also allows you to jump straight into production by clicking an item from the production details. From here, your team can download production artwork and start marking items as produced as they work through the job. Because everyone's production workflow is different, we've added an option that allows you to set the default schedule date for new orders in production. Let's quickly jump into the admin section and review that option. From within our admin dashboard, we'll jump into settings, production and order settings, quote order and invoice settings. Here you'll find a new section for production where we can set how many days before the ship date to schedule out production for a new order. The new production views here in Business Hub give you a great overview of all of your orders in production, make it easier to schedule and manage your orders and assign them to your production team members. Check out this and other new features included in the latest release of Deco Network. Thanks everyone for joining today's session covering some of these latest improvements. All of these features and more are available in the latest release of Deco Network. You can upgrade to this latest release now from your admin dashboard. And make sure to check out our help center for in-depth help guides and documentation. If you're not yet a Deco Network subscriber, make sure to head over to our website and book a tour with our team to get started. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.